All right, so I've made it to 700 ELO, which is pretty cool. It's the first time that um, I've been above 700. Let's see. Yeah, so I know the rating is still really low, but I feel like I'm climbing pretty steadily and I feel like I'm improving, which is all I really care about. So I'll go ahead and start a new game and see if we can get some more ELO. I'm just going to go for the knight trade here on h5. Recapture with the light square bishop. Interesting. Looks like he has other plans. This is a free pawn. I may as well just take it. It's a free piece, it's unprotected, so I'm happy to go for it and then just move back. Whoa. Interesting. I could go here and put his pawns, uh, double up his pawns. I know that'd be kind of weird. Um, I'm just going to move my knight back and then recapture if he takes with the knight. Um, hmm. This pawn is unprotected now. Then again, so is mine. I think this is okay, and then I'll castle. I think that, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and castle here. Okay. So his king's in a really weird spot. If I can get a knight here, that would be good. Um, honestly, I'm just gonna start developing. What's the, what's the play here? This makes my king pretty weak. I don't really want to move this pawn unless I really have to. I guess there is a nice check here if I were to push this pawn up. I'm just going to try that and see what happens. He'll probably, yeah, I'm going to try to push my light square bishop. Really? So he's going for like a really early check or something. Interesting. Doesn't really accomplish a whole lot, but I'm just gonna go for it. I think I need to develop my pieces a little bit more. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming. So maybe I just defend. Maybe I defend with my queen. Or maybe I just force him to put his king in a worse position. Maybe I just move back. Oh, 
lots of options here. Oh, I need to play a little bit faster. He's he's playing really fast. I'm playing pretty slow. Uh, I'm up a pawn, so I'm actually going to just trade bishops here. That might be the wrong move. Maybe I should just keep trading since I'm up in material. I'm going to just develop. Uh, this is basically a free piece. Yeah, I'm just realizing that this, yeah, that's unfortunate. I should have noticed that. That's too bad. I'm down a piece now, but that's okay. These squares seem pretty weak. Maybe I'll just start pushing on the queen side. So I have one, two attackers here. He has one, two defenders. So this does put him into check, recapture. So no, he comes out on top there with a rook. Maybe just start reshuffling my knight here. Hmm. My pieces are really awkward at the moment. I'm like five minutes behind on time. I probably need to start playing a little bit faster. Um, I, I think this is actually, oh no. I guess since I'm blocked here, that's pretty bad. Um, I'm okay with this. Oh. I'm just going to try it. I'm just, I, I'm going to see if I can make this really long pawn chain do something. Uh, if he attacks, I can take back. If he takes with the pawn, I'll go here. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that, but I think, well, this pawn is hanging now. I think I have to recapture with this pawn. This seems like a really bad move. 
Uh, I need to play faster. I'm playing really slow. This position is just really weird. It just doesn't seem like it's that great. Well, there's check, so he's forced to take this. I can do this. He can either go here. Okay, so he does go there. Um, I do have this protected. I wonder if there's any other piece I can use. Nice. I didn't actually realize that was going to be checkmate. I'm surprised I won that. I feel like he was in a much better position than me that whole game. He kind of started off really aggressive on my king side, and then he kind of gave up. And he went more into like a reactive, kind of uh, like a defensive mode towards the second half of the game there. Um, so let's see if we can find out what we did right and what we did wrong. Yeah, I felt good about this move. This seemed pretty good. This this uh, got rid of his ability to castle. I don't think he would have just lobbed his rook onto my g2 pawn there. Um, I think that would have been like way too aggressive. That was the only reason I moved the pawn up there. Yeah, I should have captured this knight a little bit earlier because I ended up blundering it later. Or I should have just not blocked it. Yeah, after he did this, I think I should have taken before he was able to block this. I get why this is a blunder, but honestly, I was just playing the cow the way the cow was meant to be played. Definitely a blunder on my part there. I wasn't quite sure what to do here. I was hoping he would capture this. Hmm. I wasn't sure really what he was going for here because I had such a long pawn chain. I don't know why he was um, challenging the tip of the pawn, if you will. I think he should have taken this pawn. The engine really wanted to move, the engine really wanted me to move to E2 the whole game. I wonder why. Maybe to, no. I mean, let's see, if I move here, E2, what could I really have done there? Maybe b5, b5 check after, yeah. I mean, I think that's what I ended up doing anyway. That's a mistake too, huh? I don't know, that seemed like the right move. So he went the wrong way there. Yeah, I think he should have moved on to the A file and then attacked my queen with his rook since his rook was protected, possibly. Either way, it was checkmate. Yeah, moving here definitely wasn't the move because this pawn was um, this pawn was attacking the d6 square and he wouldn't have been able to run obviously to the d7 square too. Well, good game. That was a fun one. It was a bit messy. I wasn't quite sure what to do on my king side uh, with his knights, but I think he'll ignore a lot of my threats on the queen side. 
Uh, so it looks like it worked out in my favor. So that's pretty cool.